crazy as substantial things have dropped over the past day or so that I've done my best to try to not see. So there was a couple of trailers from what I understand that have dropped for uh, Marvel versus Capcom 3. Um, some pretty big ones like uh, si significant giant releases of new mods and uh, all the efforts that have gone into and since the model importer has happened for Ultimate Marvel 3. So I have not seen uh, the actual trailer yet. Um, I don't know exactly. I haven't seen like anything except really the Cyclops mod, which looks incredible. It looks absolutely friggin' incredible on the uh, on the the stuff that I saw on Twitter and pass by. So yeah, the models look really good. I'm kind of curious to see what it is gonna be like on the actual game itself what it's gonna be like when we actually fire up the damn game. Urian and Bison models look amazing. Oh God, I'm already getting spoiled. Yeah, so I guess we just gotta start checking this stuff out. So a whole bunch of trailers dropped over the past 24 hours. Um, Marvel 3 has essentially like reached a new era, right? There's been a progressing new era of mods and essentially fans turning Marvel 3 into a, a somewhat Mugen, like a modern day version of Mugen in many ways. Um, and it's been absolutely amazing. We played some of the characters before, but that was without the assistance of uh, a model importer. So everything that existed that we had played before was essentially just retooling the visuals of existing characters. And by retooling, I mean, all you can do is retexture things and recolor things. And that's like literally it. That's all they could do. Over the past 24 hours, it has been officially released. The actual model importer is out. Um, for people that have experience with 3D modeling, uh, you can get models over other characters and stuff like that now in the game. And apparently a whole bunch of characters have gone through a pretty big overhaul, and a lot of these characters do have brand new visuals to actually accompany them. So uh, I hope to download a little bit of it and try it out. I want to dedicate a full-ass day to this stuff and really play the hell out of some of these new mods and uh, just see exactly what it's like because uh, the amount of work that these guys have put into this game is absolutely ridiculous. It's still going like friggin' uh, Gambit is on the horizon or something like that. I'm trying to see what's possible in the future if I can like commission somebody to make friggin' Jin Sautome possibly in the game because I'm like, if I'm thinking of characters that could be possible, like I feel like Jin already has an existing moveset to pull from. A lot of his moves are very plausible, you know? Like, you definitely can pull existing animations from the game and get something like a moveset for Jin Saotome. And the the most challenging part is, like, the big arm, right? When he does the Blodia punch and stuff like that. That stuff might be a little difficult. You might have to do something different for that. I'm gonna fire up the trailer and uh, show it off on stream, but yes, these are actually available to download now and we'll, we'll, we'll download them after we watch all this stuff and hopefully get a better idea of what they look like in game. Because we already played Cyclops and man, Cyclops' bitch ass was literally painted on. Like that guy was quite literally painted on and he already looked amazing. Whoa, there's presentation behind this. All right, hold on a sec chat. Let's take a look at this. So this is the latest release uh, from Tabs is one of the, one of the forerunners of getting all of this stuff updated and running, and here we go. I haven't actually seen this yet. All I've seen is little things from Twitter over the past uh, 24 hours or so, and most of it's been psych because Cyclops looks ridiculous. Are you ready, true believers? Capcom and Marvel have joined I already the like this. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Psylocke looks good. Oh my god, Psylocke looks good! Holy crap, dude. Just the model changing. She-Hulk, uh, soul bad guy over here going absolutely nuts. Oh! <laughs> oh, Thanos is a real boy! Thanos is a real boy! It looks like his Marvel Infinite version. He looks like 70s Thanos. <laughs> Evil Ryu actually got a real skin? Hell yeah! NBC2 Sentinel, okay. That he looks about the way he should. Doing NBC2 Sentinel shit. Scarlet Spider, relatively unchanged, I think. 
Shadow Lady, hell yeah. And there's that badass looking Dante, dude. Oh my God, DMC1 Dante looks great. Oh my God. Ken, look at Ken, look at Ken. Look, geez, Ken is actually a real boy now? Thanos looks crazy. <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Who else? Let me, let's actually take a look at some of the characters. Evil Ryu actually has a real skin now. He's not just like Ryu colored differently. Ken's a real boy. Uh, Wesker and Chris, yeah, yeah, yeah. PW, there's DMC1, new model Dante. Up here we got, like, hang on a second. Uh, what the hell is this thing? Uh, 1910 Marvel, 9 Capcom. 10 Capcom. What? Oh god, Ken looks good. What the fuck? What? What? What the fuck? What? Rashid is just in the game? He's just in the goddamn game? Wait a minute, why does he look so legit? Wait a minute, <laughs> wait, wait, how does he look so legit? Like what? He wasn't even, well, I don't even remember hearing anybody talk about Rashid, what? And he looks le like super legit, holy shit. He's got Deadpool's idol, which looks like almost exactly the same as Rashid does in SF5. This was his secret character? Wow! Dude, what a perfect time to stick this guy in because of the model import. Holy shit, man. Look how good Rashid looks. Hold on a second, where's the su Jesus, dude, this is like, this is crazy. This is crazy. These are practically like official characters at this point. Minus like a couple of like obvious like polish things like, you know, eye movement and facial animations, which are going to be pretty impossible to do. But oh my God. So here's the crazy part about this. Uh, Rashid was, Rashid was supposed to be in Marvel Infinite, right? In the, in the event that that game was actually going to continue. Rashid was supposed to be an MVCI. Like there was a big rumor for a long time of the leaked characters that were coming from sources that did actually eventually uh, drop big news info before the game was out and all that stuff came true. Rashid and I think Gil were technically supposed to become actual characters. The Street Fighter V representative in MVCI was gonna be Rashid, um, which makes sense because it was C Viper in Ultimate Marvel 3. So this is like a crazy, this is a, uh, this is a crazy sort of like, dream turnaround of of the, the the situation that was mvci not getting this character holy crap man i'm blown away by how legit as fuck he looks and he just feels like he belongs like i would i would argue rashid wouldn't have been that much different in mvci than this like holy crap yeah the model importer is is up now it is working dude I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking at Dante over here, and DMC1 Dante looks great. This might actually be a, a decent opportunity to fire up DMC1 Dante at some point because he's he's ballistic. He's insane in this game. Uh, I wish I saw more Cyclops and, and Ken. Dude, dude. Oh my god, these guys. These guys are looking crazy, dude. I'm gonna have to look up some combo videos and shit. There's one more though. Hang on, hang on, because everyone dropped everything at like the exact same time. This is from Malamander, who's also worked on uh, Yurian and Bison, and he dropped this today. It's been it's a big day for Marvel chat. It's actually a huge day for Marvel versus Capcom. There's still a Wesker costume here. I see. Oh god, he's nude! He's hella nude! He's super naked! I was kind of hoping he was going to have his cool ass, like, the Wesker style outfit, right? I was kind of hoping he was going to have his big, like, uniform. His business suit. I think Urian kind of looks better in the business suit sometimes. Oh my god damn, this looks fucking legit. Dude, shit looks- I'm telling you, man, once you actually get the models over the characters, it's over. It's over. This shit's gonna look good. Ages Reflector. Oh, this is disgusting.
Good lord, man. Yurian and Yurian and fucking Rashid are like in the game. And Bison too. Wow. Okay. I kind of wish he didn't have the cl the cloak. But fuck. Oh my god. It's so legit looking. He's a he's a real boy. Bison is just in the goddamn game. It's not Tuesday though. I'm sorry. It's like he was always here. Wow, man. This shit is so cool. Fuck, look how fucking cool Bison looks, man. Yeah, the Street Fighter 4 model was a good call. It looks like the SF4 model. It looks, it's fitting very well. So sick, man. Oh my god. That is it. So unbearably fucking cool. Yeah, they look great. They look incredibly good. Um, holy shit, dude. I'm very, I'm very happy. I think the old, I think you could actually take away Bison's cloak because in some of these situations, the cloak just covers up too much. I feel like it's cool looking when he's standing still, but when he's doing, when he's doing that, right? Pretty much it's this, when he's going to be doing the majority thing that he does a lot, which is flip kick. Uh, when he was doing, when he's, when he's doing back forward K, it looks a bit much, right? Yeah, he's got this big ass cloak is, is covering up all the cool shit, but maybe that's why they did it that way, right? Maybe, maybe that's why it is the way it is. Maybe it's actually covering up some of some issues back here, which would make sense. If that's the case, then just leave it, right? If that's not the case, then take it off. Cause I want, I want to see the character do some flippy dippies and all this shit, man. Um... Good lord, his moveset is so, is so Street Fighter V. Jesus, dude. All right, uh, let me let me go back to some of these threads and see what else is up here. So here's what's crazy. Fooch, who's been modding stuff for a hell of a long time, I think he actually helped me out with FF7 mods um, back in the day. I've always like talked to him randomly about like MVC mods and everything like that for, for a while now. He worked on Cyclops and look at this shit. Look at this shit, dude. It's like the guy is actually in the game. It's like this character is a is was always in the game and the nuttiest part is that it looked like he already was already in the game and all they did was just paint on some glasses onto the guy before like this is this is fucking legit dude and the coolest part is that the the character model and the shading is really complementing the game's art style right the game has that weird uh the way it casts shadow and light on characters with the very very dark uh colors the very very harsh like crushed black ink color that is working. It's working super well on this shit. He actually takes off of his gla off his glasses during the level three. Wow, wow. Yeah, he doesn't have dislocated shoulders anymore because before they and you can actually see where he's taken the model of other shoulders and put it on there. That's the thing. They could not do anything about that. They could just essentially fit over another character model onto another character's animation set. And if that animation set was for a smaller character like C Viper, they were screwed. They couldn't do anything about it. So based on that, suddenly you're able to pick and choose other things and you have an actual model importer. You can take assets from other games. You can look at mobile games. You can look at uh, any 3D games that have had ripped assets. I'd imagine Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 is probably going to end up being a very, very, very big tool that a lot of these guys will end up using. I think M Mua 3, yeah, is Cyclops from Mua 3? I'm not surprised because that probably is one of the most updated character model games there is from a lot of X-Men characters outside of like, you know, Spider-Man games and shit like that, which are gonna be naturally very high poly. I think uh, I think that game is probably gonna have a whole bunch of character models that a lot of people are gonna rip from. Yo, what? Okay, we already got combo routes. There's already combo routes. Oh God, oh God, there you go. Jesus. Oh, the mid-air dash?
Wow, dude. I swear, that Thor super, right? That Thor super comes in handy so much. That big spinning super that Thor has, you can use that shit on like everything. The, the golden wind thing, it works so well on so many characters. Damn, dude, look how fucking sick Cyclops looks now. Oh my God. Oh, it's fucking, what? Then we just have random Captain Falcon? Jesus Christ, look how fucking cool this is, dude. He's just in the game. He actually takes off his goddamn glasses. <laughs> wow. What, what is this? Wow, custom ass shadow lady. Dude, it looks ridiculous. This bitch looks ridiculous. Even though he's got sexy poses, right? It doesn't really matter. Look how fucking cool he looks. Jesus Christ, man. Dreams don't die. Holy hell. Psych looks ridiculous. Damn, Thanos looking a little shiny. He's a glowing man. Oh, dude, this looks legit as fuck now. Is actually just MVCI Thanos. Hambone. Ham bone. Still a little ugly. <laughs> He's glossy. Okay, Psylocke is looking kind of sick. Wow, it's insane to look at this stuff and realize that everything is just being thrown together by existing assets, right? Every single move in the game, or every single move that the characters are doing, is being done at the result of existing animations and assets that are essentially just being retooled, right? Retooled, re, uh, recreated, new frame data, new hitboxes, like all that kind of stuff. You're, they are literally making brand new characters for all this stuff. And it doesn't really come together for everybody until you see the actual character model doing it as well. You had to, like, use your imagination a bit before? Now you don't have to use your imagination. Now Cyclops is just in the game. Now Rashid is just in the game. Now there's, like, a Wolverine version of X-23, you know? This is crazy, dude. Oh, my God. They look legit as hell. Uh, I'm super excited, right? I'm, I'm like, ridiculously excited that there might be even more in the future. Now it's, like, now people are really going to be paying attention to this shit, you know? Now there's going to be some some eyes and ears uh, around this stuff, probably more than ever before, because the visuals now accompany the gameplay, you know? The visuals are now there to, to back up all the gameplay.